Duncan with the Eastern Panhandle Conservation District, and I'm joined today by my daughter, Carly. Carly. And we are going to go over some leaf activities that are super easy and simple to do at home with um, mostly household supplies that you probably already have. Um, so to get started, we're going to go over the leaves that we do have that I was able to find in my backyard. No, we don't eat it. Not right now. All right. So here we have a red oak leaf. Um, and then we also have another red oak leaf. So I thought it was cool to kind of go around and see the difference in the leaf sizes that I have in the backyard that come from the same exact tree. Where should I eat this? No, we're not going to eat this right now. And all of the, the, the seeds are edible. However, we're not going to be eating them like my daughter Carly is suggesting. And this is a red oak acorn so this is the seed that of course the oak trees have um the one way to describe uh the red oaks is they kind of look they kind of look like a beret um the, the little cap here on the top is a great way to try to figure out the red oak acorn um here i have a dogwood leaf so it has this kind of nice pretty reddish hue to it um, they have like a red berry, uh, but the tree that I have in my backyard, they're, they're all gone, um, so I wasn't able to show you their berry. And then here, this um, yellow-hued leaf is a shagbark hickory, and again, you can see, same tree, but the sizes um, of the leaves that are on the same tree. And then, can you show everybody your hickory, your hickory nuts? Hickies. All right, you gotta let them so people can see. So here is a, a hickory nut that still has the shell on it. And then I was able to find one um, without a shell because the, the squirrels in my backyard are very efficient and it was super hard to find um, the correlating uh, nuts that go with um, each of the trees. Um, and of course, as you know, the squirrels, that's what they're gonna eat um, to keep them nice and full over the winter time. So I was also able, wasn't able to find really good walnut leaves to show, um, but again, here is a, a, a black walnut here. It kind of has like this green um, outer shell, and as it ages, um, it turns kind of yellowish, and then it will turn this black color, um, and on the inside, this is what it looks like underneath of that green casing. All right, so that is an intro to the leaves that we're going to be using today. And the first activity that we are going to talk about is just some leaf uh, sketches. So we're, it's really simple. All you're going to do is be, just be taking crowns and um, copy paper or any kind of scrap paper that you have. Um, Hold on. And it's a great way to talk about the parts of the leaves, just doing some art, um, some simple coloring, especially for the younger ones who um, like to make these big broad strokes. Um, it's a great activity for them. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to flip the leaf over because here we've got, of course, our stem of the leaf. We have our veins and then our leaf edges. So they're a great activity to introduce to the parts of the leaf and also great for the texture. Um, especially for those that really like that sensory input like this one. Um, so I'm going to put the leaf upside down underneath of her paper. And then she is going to, can you go like this? Go with those big broad strokes. Can you do that? Okay. And then you're going to try to just get that outline of the leaf there on your paper. So you'll do it. Yep, you do it. So for the little ones, using a full sheet of paper is a great idea with a big leaf um, because it can get a little bit frustrating when you use a smaller leaf um, and you're not and you're in between one of these edges trying to find um, where your leaf is. Um, for the older kids, making bookmarks um, is a fun activity. Again, you can make whatever size you want. I just took a cop sheet of copy paper and cut it into four sections. Um, so you can make a bookmark. You can use a little bit sturdier, but just remember the thicker that the paper you're using, the harder it is to get that transfer. Um, so this is a quick bookmark that I did, if you can, can see it very well or not. 
Um, and then I just took some of the self-adhesive laminating sheets um, and folded them together. This and that is way a cool it, one. Yeah, that's a cool one. And this that way I have a more me. durable uh, bookmark. That looks fantastic, Carly. Can we talk about other stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about other stuff. Okay. So if you are right now into math and counting or grids, and you have uh, the graph paper, a great activity is to, again, do those leaf sketches onto the paper. And this happened to be um, from a sassafras tree that I had done previously. Um, and then I had went ahead and numbered um, the, the around the leaf. So you're able to do some gridding, some graphs, some math, a great activity to include with your leaves. All right. trees. Um, this is a great activity to do. Have them draw a tree. And then on the top, I have all of the things that trees give us. So oxygen, habitat, food, um, shade. And they're, they're beautiful. Okay. And then on the trunk here, I put all of the things that we get from the trees. So, you know, climbing, hiding, a tree house, furniture. So see what ideas that you and your family can come up with. Um, to do um, a tree drawing just like this. And then the last activity that I have, um, this was taken with uh, a hickory leaf. It's a baby one. And it just went over the basic parts of a leaf. So we've got the tip on the top, the stem, the veins, and then this whole edge right here is called the, the blade. So again, another just super um, easy activity. Right now is the perfect time to do these leaf activities. And of course, there's other activities such as making leaf people, um, see what kind of things you can find in your backyard. Um, and just as a reminder, um, try to leave the leaves. They're great for wintertime habitats for different bugs, different um, even animals. Um, it's great compost for your yard. Um, so again, we know we all want to get, still see those pretty green lawns, but if you are able to leave the leaves, of course we encourage you to do so. And to find more activities, um, lessons, and read aloud books, I encourage you to go visit our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, um, and they can be found by searching for Eastern Panhandle Conservation District. So thank you for your time, and thank you for listening with Carly. And um, enjoy the fall, enjoy the leaves, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.